So this exhibition is all part of Manchester International Festival, which opens today. So this is the third incarnation of the festival and it's getting stronger and more exciting each time. Well, the piece is uh, Infinite Freedom Exercise, is the title of this piece. And it is derived our response to a press photograph from 1980 of the first Iran-Iraq war, in which an anonymous soldier watches a pair of oil refineries burning on the horizon. But at least one in four or one in five members of the public begin to mimic his actions, uh, which I really didn't expect. I'm Michael Morris, I'm the co-director of Art Angel, and James Lingman, um, also co-director of Art Angel, and we're standing in a room um, upstairs at the Whitworth Art Gallery in Manchester. The Art Angel collection um, is uh, some 20 works that over the past two decades we've um, commissioned and produced. They're all works made in the moving image. There's a kind of survey of different ways in which artists and filmmakers have, have used the moving image from Atom in Goyen's Elegy, if you like, to celluloid in an installation called Steen Beckett. Francis Alice uh, making a number of video works, including a fox let out at loose in the gallery at night. And we've got Tony Ursula, it's called The Influence Machine and it's a series of projections into the trees outside. And then inside the gallery, there's a talking light. So it flickers on and off, and it's having a conversation with you as you walk into the room. High Wire is a work by Catherine Yass that Art Angel commissioned in 2008. And the main part of it is a four-screen presentation, a video presentation of a man, Didier Pasquet, walking across a high wire that Catherine and Art Angel had slung between three tower blocks on the Red Road estate in Glasgow. So that, that empathy between human beings um, and our, our sort of disappointment that he doesn't get all the way across the high wire, but thanking God that he didn't die. Everybody has seen the work so far in the gallery. They've all been amazed that there was no safety net and there was, you know, if he fell, that would have been, you know, that would have been, it would have been falling to his death.